Meghan Markle here. Let's see here. So I have done my due diligence on Miss Marco, and this is where I stand. Genetically, she is blessed. If there is an issue from her alleged union with Prince Harry, the Windsors will thicken their watery, thin blue blood and the Spencer Pell skin and ginger hair with some rich and exotic DNA. But right, this is the thing, the foundation of uh, that research that I did, how the tabloid came about. Okay, this I'm not surprised by any of this. Okay, Miss Moko's mother is a dreadlock African American, and I'm so happy she walked with it proudly, proudly, because if you don't display your uh, your how do you call this your heritage, your foundation, who you are. Who's going to do it? Look at it. These people are more than happy to bash it for you. All right? So if you don't respect your heritage, who you are, the person you are, you think they're going to do it for you? All right? Look how easily they uh, come together to bash on Megan. All right? So if you yourself don't respect yourself and you don't display yourself proudly, who do you think is going to display you for you? Huh? You have to display yourself. So none of this, I'm, I'm not surprised by it. But what I'm, what I'm proud of is Miss Dovia, who display her dread, uh, dread, how did they put it? Her mother is a dreadlocked African-American lady. All right? She displayed proudly, proudly. And this is why the squad stand Miss Dovia. Displayed proudly because this is who you are. You can't be anybody else. All right? So they think this is bad. All right. They want to weaponize certain words. All right. We know their tactic. They're weaponizing this dreadlock African American lady. Okay. They want to weaponize it. Who cares? Okay. We have to embrace it for us. If we don't embrace it, this is what we're going to get to think of it as if, if it's bad. All right? So it's not a bad thing for the African-American because we like it. We display it. We do our, um, what is it, braid and all of that. Other, like me, I don't like braid. Why? It gives me headache. If it's too tight, it gives me headache. But that doesn't mean I don't like it. All right? So we have to have our own reason for not liking it. Not their reason. You have to understand that. Not because they say it's a dreadlock African-American. You Therefore, you should not like it. No, you have to create your own reason. But when I see it in other people, they look so nice, display. Uh, look at the, the Williams sisters when they first come out. They display their beauty to the best possible way that they can. They embrace it. All right? If you don't embrace your heritage, who will? These people are more than happy to bash it for you. All right? So that's what I got in this. Let me continue. Miss Marco's mother is a dreadlock African-American lady from the wrong side of the track who lives in LA. But long and behold, what we find out, look at it. It doesn't matter where you live, okay? It doesn't matter where you live. All right? Look at how they try to take education out of uh, African-American. And look what's happening now. They find their way. All right? A neighborhood doesn't make you, but you have to be careful who you interact with. Okay? One thing I remember my cousin told me, okay? She's much older than me, and this is the person I usually um, interact, have good conversation. One thing that she told me, and I still hold it dear, is to not date people in your neighborhood. Don't date people in your neighborhood. Why? Because if things doesn't work out, 
you're going to be very uncomfortable in your own neighborhood. So don't date them. You could be friends with them or uh, keep them to a certain distance. You know, you have friends for for different things. All right? You could have friends for certain uh, engagement or whatever it is, but at a certain circles, you don't engage with them because whatever it may be. At least that's me, okay? Uh, I don't bring people, certain people in my house, this type of things. All right? So you have to, uh, your neighborhood, sometimes neighborhood shape you and things like that. There could be drugs and whatever. Uh, if there's a, a father, uh, a family uh, knit in the house, all right, you could still make it. But when we look at this, what uh, Megan have display, okay, it's more superb than what we see at the freaking palace. Okay, what have we been hearing? Pedophilia, sleeping other with uh, young kids, sleeping around, drinking, sleeping with other women, leave your wife at home. Okay, this, not a, this is not a good value. All right, they're trying to make it seem like it's bad. All right. When in fact they themselves, whatever they okay, let me make it simple. Whatever they uh, the present here, the finger pointing that they're doing here, just think of them, okay? Because they're pointing at themselves. All right. Because what we see display out of Megan, you never hear a crack from Miss Doria. I think the only time I hear her, which was very, I had to pump up the uh, audio to hear her voice was when Megan invited her to come to the cookbook thing, okay, at the palace to meet with the, um, with the cook, was it Greenfield, uh, the ladies who do the cookbook, all right, so Miss Doria have display superb, superb kind of human dignity, respect, understanding, and everything. She keep her distance. Guess what? I would not know. Mrs. Ms. Doria was complaining about the paparazzi. How do I know? We knew, we suspect, but to actually confirm it, how did we know? It's to those conversation, the email that those people decided to be part of the lawsuit where Megan thought, okay, look, I want to discuss this with you because um, of two things. There's uh, Omid and her mother. She said, this is the priority here. My mother is being harassed by those uh, uh, paparazzi. All right. We want to discuss that with you. And this is why I said God needs to do his thing, a baggage for God. While she was concerned for the safety of her mother. Okay. She was talking to the enemy. Meanwhile, the enemy knew every step that she was doing. This is a baggage for God. A baggage for God because they knew every step that she was doing to protect her mother baggage for you God you know exactly how I'm feeling baggage for you all right let's see here what else this nonsense is saying this is why sometimes I cannot you might think it's negative but when you dissect it make uh, what is it logic out of there and logical kind of thing i forgot how one of the tweet made it uh this is that you have to uh disperse each and every word of the what they sang because they're just telling on themselves all right let's see here and even the Soros spenters has to admit that the 35 year old actress is extremely easy on the eye miss marco has an active what active what <laughs> At face value, yes. But when you dissect it like I interpret it in my own, you know, puny brain, that doesn't mean I'm right, but I truly believe of what I just said here. <laughs> At face value. <laughs> I like that G I M.
is a great privilege to be with all of you today. You know, we want we ask for forgiveness and uh, and please come back. for the better.